In this video, I want to tell you about Logix File Browser, how I use it to search for samples, and how you can export settings and sounds from other projects. You are probably familiar with Logix library. It's very easy to use, but it takes a lot of time to add all your samples, and you have to specify each sample's tempo, key, and add tags if you want to use this search engine. In most cases, it's faster to use Logix File Browser. When you first open File Browser, you see your project's file page. If you prefer working with multiple windows or screens, then go to Window and open Project Audio. Here you can see all your external files and copies used in the current project. It's quite easy to preview them if you want. As you can see, I duplicated the main vocal audio a few times while I was editing it. To free some space in this project, I can select all unused copies of the main track and simply delete them. If you check your project, I'm sure you'll see lots of unused samples and copies as well. Now let's open browser by pressing F key. And this time we're going to look at all files. It's pretty simple, you can browse your computer and find folders you're looking for. Use search window to input keywords. Then there is an extended search filter, where you can narrow your search results. Let's say you're looking for a certain length or a loop instead of one shot sample. Most of the time it's very efficient, and of course it's easy to preview the sounds. Now we can talk about my favorite feature. I have discovered that project files actually contain all the information that can be seen in this browser and reused in your current project, which is amazing. Let's say you're working on an album. You have finished a few tracks and working on the next one. To be consistent, you'd have to reuse some of the patches or sounds from your previous projects. And here's how you can do it. I'm going to open one of my projects and here I can see all the instruments and tracks used in it. Great news is that you can simply select any of them and export the sounds, presets, and even content of a track. For example, I want to reuse that bass sound in this project. Maybe the lead pattern too. I think it can fit this project, so I'm going to copy content of it. Check what information you want to add and click Add. And there you go. That's the bass I wanted from the previous track. And the lead MIDI regions right there. Logix browser is very minimalistic, but quite efficient. Project file export feature is great in my opinion, especially if you don't save your patches that often. And that's all I have. Until next time.